So it's pretty obvious that in 2020, the Houston Texans had a very disappointing season. The Houston Texans, they went 4-12 and on the year. They had an awful season. They fired their head coach, Bill O'Brien. I actually argued that last year um, during the playoffs when the Houston Texans blew a 24 to nothing lead to the Kansas City Chiefs in that game. Bill O'Brien should have been fired right then and there. Unfortunately, they kept him, you know, heading into the season. He trades away, you know, the Houston Texans' best wide receiver, DeAndre Hopkins, for David Johnson. Did not even get a first-round pick in, back in exchange for DeAndre Hopkins. He's made He made so many poor decisions for that team as the head coach and general manager. It was awful. It was a mess. And Houston right now, they're in search of a new head coach. They did just recently hire a new general manager. And listen, I said a couple of weeks ago that not a single starting quarterback could make the playoffs with the 2020 Houston Texans roster and coaching staff. Not a single quarterback. Not Aaron Rodgers. Not Russell Wilson. Not Patrick Mahomes. And obviously... Deshaun Watson had a very good season, but he was not able to overcome this team's lack of talent and this team's dysfunction as far as not having a stable head coach, you know, to really help out Deshaun Watson in this roster. You know, the defense was horrible. The Houston Texans couldn't run the ball effectively. Their offensive line stinks. Their head coach got fired, like I said. Bill O'Brien is no longer there. He got fired four games into the season. But, you know, here's the thing, people. I believe that this terrible, horrible, trash can of a season is in the long run going to make Houston Texans starting quarterback Deshaun Watson even better for for a couple of reasons. Number one, Deshaun Watson is finally going to hopefully get an upgrade at head coach. And listen, Bill O'Brien was awful. He was not a very good head coach. Early on in his career, he was actually a solid head coach, but as time went on and on, Bill O'Brien continued to, you know, not adjust his schemes, you know. He did not evolve as a head coach, and it kind of seemed like he was relying too much on Deshaun Watson. When Deshaun Watson was drafted, Bill O'Brien got lazy, and he said, hey, Deshaun, you're so great. You need to take us to the promised land. I'm good, okay? But so the point I'm trying to make is, whether Houston hires a great head coach or a good head coach, most head coaches out there that are candidates are going to be an upgrade over Bill O'Brien. He was that bad, okay? So that's one thing. But also, I believe this gives Deshaun Watson some extra motivation because now Deshaun Watson realizes, hey, listen, I had a great season, but it just for whatever reason was not good enough. I need to go harder and harder. I need to continue to get better and better. And listen, when you go through tough times and you lose a whole lot, it really it really sticks with your mind. It sticks with your psyche. And I think Deshaun Watson is really going to have another great offseason. He's going to continue to put his foot down and work hard because he knows this team is not close to competing and they need every single ounce of his greatness, okay? And Deshaun Watson had a phenomenal year. He completed 70% of his passes. He led the league in passing yards. He threw for 4,823 yards, had 33 touchdown passes, seven interceptions, and a 100 and, and a 112 passer rating. That was the second best pass rating in the entire NFL behind only Aaron Rodgers, who's probably going to win the 2020 NFL MVP award. And listen, what you have to realize about Deshaun Watson's great season is what he did was hard to accomplish as far as just him putting up those good numbers, him consistently playing at a high level. It's very difficult to consistently play at a high level week in and week out as a quarterback when there's a whole bunch of crap around you, okay? When the roster's bad, the offensive line sucks, the coaching staff isn't helping you out, the defense stinks, it's hard to give your best effort every single week. It's easy to just lay down and say, man, this team's no good, I quit. You know, this season's a wash. I'm going to develop bad habits. I'm just going to go into the tank. And Deshaun Watson is not that guy. He consistently made sure he gave the Houston Texans everything he had every single week. We look at guys like Carson Wentz, who are super-duper talented, but Carson Wentz regressed 
playing for a horrible Philadelphia Eagles roster. Carson Wentz played like one of the worst quarterbacks in the entire NFL when he was starting games for the Philadelphia Eagles before he got benched. Look at Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold obviously is not as talented as Deshaun Watson, but Sam Darnold, he continues to regress because there's not a lot of good stuff around him and the coaching is bad and the roster is bad and listen I really can't necessarily blame Sam Darnold because he's got no help he's not the most talented guy but you can make the same argument for Deshaun Watson he's got no help his offensive line stinks his defense stinks his coaching staff isn't very good but Deshaun Watson has made a point to not add on to the Houston Texans problems he's been nothing but a positive asset to that team. You can clearly see that Deshaun Watson truly cares about his craft. You know, his great season, despite the team not winning a whole lot, is a testament to, for one, how talented he is, but it's also a testament to his heart and his work ethic, you know. And Dabble Sweeney, when, when Deshaun Watson was coming out of Clemson, he called him the next Michael Jordan. He said, hey, folks, listen, you better not pass on Deshaun Watson because He's Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Dabble Sweeney said that Deshaun Watson was the Michael Jordan of football. While I don't think Deshaun Watson is quite that talented, but I will say I think Deshaun Watson and Michael Jordan share some similar similar qualities, especially early on in their career. You know, Deshaun Watson, he comes in his rookie year, was on pace to break a bunch of records before he got hurt. Michael Jordan was breaking records as a rookie, scored 28 points per game as a rookie early on in his career. In his second season, he had a major he had major surgery, had a major injury, very similar to Deshaun Watson when Deshaun Watson tore his ACL early in his career. And the thing about Michael Jordan and Deshaun Watson is this. Early on in their careers, it was pretty obvious the talent was there. They were generational talents. It's very clear to Sean Watson is one of the five best quarterbacks in all football, and it was very clear clear to a lot of people. Michael Jordan, early in his career, he was special. He was a special talent, but Michael Jordan did not win a whole lot of playoff series early in his career until he got Phil Jackson. And that's kind of how I feel about Deshaun Watson right now, right now. Deshaun Watson, he's doing everything he can. He's carrying a bad roster. A couple of years ago, he made it to the playoffs, won a playoff game versus Buffalo, had a 24 to nothing lead on Patrick Mahomes. But because of, the, but because of his defense, because of his coaching staff, that lead went away. And the Houston Texans, they're only relevant because of Deshaun Watson. But I truly believe if Houston can hit on their next head coach, you're going to see Deshaun Watson making some deep playoff runs and potentially winning some championships, winning some MVPs, very similar to Michael Jordan. Once Michael Jordan got Phil Jackson to be his head coach, a guy that he clicked with, he never looked back. He never looked back. And that's kind of how I feel about Deshaun Watson. So look, it's a lost season in 2020 for the Houston Texans, but Deshaun Watson, he displayed his greatness. He displayed his talents. And I think Deshaun Watson is only going to grow from the pain and the struggles of the 2020 season. And I think that brighter days are ahead for Deshaun Watson if the Houston Texans can hit on their next head coach. Only time will tell if they do so, however. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please also note that the Juice Alert Sports Podcast is not just a YouTube channel. It is available on all podcasting platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. This podcast is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. And I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. And I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really truly grows. Or if I fall short of that goal, I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks. So if you believe in my dreams and you see or hear my passion through the screen, be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Alert Sports Podcast. Stay motivated, you guys. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out.